Hello and welcome to my channel, where I play games, so if you're into this sort of content, make sure to subscribe. So in the last episode we were breeding, and in this episode we're going to... I think, was it Natty that said that there's something for us to do? Poacher egg. Poppy. We can also do this as well while we wait. Alright, let's go see where Poppy is. World map. Oh, Hogsmeade. I meant Hogsmeade, not Hogsworld. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Um, what was your grand sending you? What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. All right. Here we are. Off to find a dragon. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Revelio. Oh, what's here? Wooden worm potion. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh good, it looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Oh, some Ashwinder eggs, awesome. Fordell's cave. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least in Okay, we quickly want to check out what this assignment is. Acquiring news. 
came to do. Oh. Okay, so we left our invisibility potions back at. Uh, acquire and use the Thunder Boo potion against enemies. Okay. go to that class is completing that assignment there we go okay so once we're done we can head back to the room requirement and grab an invisibility potion this is a cool potion At least we picked up the blueprint for it, so we can make as many as we want. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. There she is again. Fantastic. She's breathtaking. From a distance. Man, that's the first time I've used Repero for ages. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Rebellion. Hebridines love sheep. How lucky for us. Very lucky for us. Watch your step. Just raring for a fight. Oh, that's a big boy. I'm going to quickly set this up. I want to capture one of those. Get up. Not oh. a warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that.
brilliant. Try and grab some resources while we're here. We didn't even get hit once. That's pretty good, guys. There's the nest. We're almost there. Surely she's going to attack us as soon as we... Why is every bridge here broken? Guardian Leviosa. Oh, Repairer. Wrong. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Place dragon egg. It's a pity I wanted a dragon. She left us perfectly unharmed. Um, yeah, Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Not at all. But I'm ready to head back. Should we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Oh, they're after her gran. They've got her gran. How could I have been so blind? Okay, so to complete Professor Sharp's assignment, we just need to head back to the Room of Requirement. And use an Invisibility Potion. So that should be pretty easy. Hogwarts map. This room where all of our stuff is. Acquire and use the invisibility. Yes. There we go. 
might as well wait here until another one's done. But we can quickly go to talents. And core. Increase the range of Rovelio. I think being able to heal, heal ourselves better is probably the best bet. We have some more gear. back to looking my favorite hat this one no where is it that one There we go, that's the look I like. And now that potion should be ready. Oh, it doesn't do it while you're in the menu. Oh well, let's, let's return to uh, Professor Sharp anyway. I believe this is the last spell we have to unlock. only got one more spell to unlock and that's the um what spell is it let's have a look it's this one avada kedavra Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. So th this is another attack spell. Hmm. Very hmm. good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Cool. So now I've unlocked almost every spell. Awesome, that's really cool. Okay, so I guess we just continue on with the main campaign main story
Does that show where they are? How do we wait until night time? Ah. Oh. Day to night. Last time I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Moonstones. They'll just be randomly spread out in the school, won't they? What are you up to now? You thought? If you thought more while we were alive, I wouldn't be trapped here with you. Now, excuse me. <laughs> Even in death, they're having arguments. All right, let's just find a quest to do. This one's ready. Okay, so we're going to find out that the poachers have a grand grand. You're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. The Snidget? Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. 
Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the Centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Alright, how much money do we have? Um, is it under gear, right? Okay, that's not going to be enough. We need like a thousand. I think for the end of this episode, we're just going to... Chill out in the room of requirement. Do a little breeding and stuff. Last episode we did breed, breed a hippogriff though. Feed and brush and all increase magical materials that can be woven into gear. Okay, let's go for some more breeding. much the offspring cost. We could use another one of these frogs as well. So we can start breeding them. Females, cool, cool. I'm just hoping that the offspring are worth more money. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here. Puffskin. yourself. I mean you no harm. Hmm. Okay, so now we want to go to map. Hogsmeade. travel and want to sell them hopefully we get enough to get an automatic feeder is what I want meet here I come come in sorry if there's a smell new batch of toad hide oh so it costs the same Oh, 
I will not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself. Maybe we should have a look. World map. And then the forbidden forest. Where was it? Was it up here? Giant purple toad. Puff skin. Hmm. I really want to... Oh, there's this whole area. Oh, I didn't even know that. What I'm really after is some unicorns. There we go. Travel here, try to get a breeding pair of unicorns. And that will end the episode off great. Off on another adventure, are we? Round Rock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Just saw a unicorn. We're waiting for a call here. Come on. Come on. Name back here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Professor Howard will never believe this. Is there any ever one unicorn? Okay. If I wanted this little excitement, I'd have a job at a bank. Okay, let's head here real quick.
Oh, it's actually quite far away. Oh, you can't do the controlling. Glaciers. There we go. Just grab a couple more and just hope we get a mail. Everything's all right now. Protego. Okay, let's have a look. Ah. Oh. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to end this episode here. So if you liked it, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.